Hello guys, hope you're doing well as always and welcome back to another video. The 12 vlogs of Christmas is almost over but we've still got three more games to get through until this series ends and don't you worry because there's still going to be plenty more vlogs coming your way. But today we've got another entertaining game. We're going down to League 2. Keeping it local for us this game as we go to Crawley Town versus AFC Wimbledon. Crawley Town have had a bit of an up and down season so far which is to be expected. It's classic Crawley. They've got 9 wins and 9 draws in 21 games so far whereas AFC AFC Wimbledon have been brilliant this season. They're pushing for those promotion spots and higher. They've even got themselves former Crawley Town player last season, James Tilly, with one of the highest goal contributions in the league at the moment with 11 so far, seven of which are goals. So it's going to be an entertaining game. Wimbledon in seventh, Crawley in 13th, and with just two points that separate these two sides, there's so much riding on this game. Without further ado, ladies and gents, let's get straight down to Crawley and we will see you there very shortly. So ladies and gents, we are at the Broadfield Stadium, if it's still called that these days, not sure with the new sponsorship, if it's still got the same name, but regardless, thoughts and feelings on the game today? I think this game, because it involves Crawley, could be anything. They're not particularly um, reliable at home. Wimbledon are in good form as well, so I'm going to go for a 2-1 win Wimbledon. I'd say that's pretty fair, but like you said, I think it could go any way with Crawley. I think we're going to see goals today. I think it's going to be quite close. I'm going to go for a 2-2 draw. We'll see what happens in the stadium. <laughs> We got in late because there was a trouble getting people into their stands, but we're here ladies and gents, we are on the way. Good turn up from the AFC Wimbledon fans, it is a sellout today. McCrawley Town Stadium is absolutely packed. Ooh. Mistake from the keeper, and AFC Wimbledon are 1-0 up. So, so avoidable. Crawley on the back foot early on. It's a poor one for Crawley's And As I say, they're on the back foot early on, straight at the keeper, and he's fumbled it into the back of his own net. It's not a good start. Oh, and it's over the bar. Crawley have lost the ball in a terrible position. Oh, and it's two. Yet again, questions to be asked to the goalkeeper. It wasn't him who gave the ball away early on. And Crawley's evening has just got harder. Yet again, it's another avoidable, avoidable goal. And Crawley, the architects of their own downfalls, gifted inside their own half. AFC Wimbledon ran through and put the ball in the back of the net. Once again, could the keeper have done better? Probably, but... Crawley are 2-0 down. Great ball. Oh, dealt with by Crawley. Oh, and it's three inside the first half and the line has got his flag up I'm not entirely sure what for player on the line was interfering with play and the goal has been disallowed but Crawley seriously need to pull something out the bag one of the coaching staff from the Wimbledon side has been sent to the stands he wasn't happy with the decision and now he's gone oh and it's Fumbled again. The Crawley Town number nine is not having the game of his life and quite frankly he's stinking up the gas. Crawley fortunate that the Wimbledon attack breaks down but he's still alive now. Oh. It's good feet. Oh. Crawley gets away with it again. And that brings the action to an end for the first half. It is Crawley nil, Wimbledon two. Lackluster, embarrassing, 
no effort or oomph going forward. And that was just a drive here. <laughs> no, um, no, it was good, good driving. That was the, the good parts of Crawley, I think yeah. is what I'm trying to say. I'd say the, the best bits were the first five minutes and the last five minutes, and that weren't much good. A bit embarrassing, really. I'd say um, Wimbledon are very comfortable. They're good on the ball, some good, good crossing. This is Wimbledon, by the way, not Crawley. Good crosses, crossfield passes are, are pretty good. Notice they're quite a lot bigger, I think, than the Crawley players. Yeah, it's quite I think tall so and, and physical. Yeah. I think that's helping them as well, especially with, with, with their long passes. But mm. the, the pass, long passes have been very good, and I think that's helped them. But having said that, they actually shouldn't be 2 0 up. They were nearly 3 0 up, but they shouldn't be 2 0 two up. Really, really bad defending. So I really fear for Crawley in the, in the uh, second half. They've got to go after a really, really good start, but I don't think it's going to happen somehow. It just doesn't feel like it. No, no, not at all. So do you think that Wimbledon should have more or less than what they've got? They could have had uh, more than, than they've got, yes. Uh, I, I just I don't. I don't think Crawley really had a chance, have they? Not that really. I can remember. Not so, really, no. Yeah, it's been so. pretty flat. I, I can see a, I can see more goals for but only for Wimbledon. Unfortunately for you Crawley fans watching, I am gonna have to agree. Like I said, it's just been so flat to watch. It's pretty bleak, but uh, Wimbledon obviously deserved their goals. Like you said, they could have had three, but I mean, even then, I don't think that they've been superb. Do you know what I mean? I think that they could very easily end up winning this four, five, six because Crawley have just got nothing going forward. The number nine is shocking, quite frankly. I mean, maybe he's just having a bad day, but really bad. But Wimbledon have just capitalized on that they've been a little bit wasteful at times to take the lead even further but yeah I, I can only see this going one way same as yourself and I think that Wimbledon in the second half are going to absolutely dominate so see what happens in the second half ladies and gents but not pretty readings for Crawley fans both teams are back out now Crawley have got an absolute mountain to climb it's not impossible but they seriously need to improve and Wimbledon well it says to lose oh, we are yeah. back on the way ladies and gents oh Absolutely blazed over. Oh, much better from Crawley. Finally a bit of a... Oh, he's done really well to kick him out. And it's there. Oh. Straight at the keeper. And Crawley all of a sudden come out in the second half. They've started the brighter side. Playing some good chances now. Can they find a goal? Work them way back into the game. Oh, it's up the post. Wimbledon down to nine after number 31 gets his second yellow of the game. And things for Crawley now are slightly looking on the up. Let's head it back in well. Oh. Again, causing problems for the key five. Feels like it's only a matter of time before they score, but they need one soon. Oh! I think there's a chance I may have clipped the post as it fits past, but once again, another good chance. He has come on against his former club for the last six minutes at a time. Oh, what a save! Right at the death, and surely now this next corner is it for Crawley. What a 
what a save. And that's it. It was much, much better from Crawley in the second half. And Wimbledon weren't really there. They didn't dominate in the way that we predicted at half time. But more importantly, Crawley weren't able to find that second goal to nap a point. And it is Wimbledon who hang on for the three points. And look at how much it means to their fans. They've been there through thick and thin, and they're relishing every win this club can get. It wasn't James Finn who came back to haunt his former team, but it's his new club that spoils the party. But this party, I'm sure, is going to follow them back to Wimbledon. So, ladies and gents, that is the end of Crawley versus AFC Wimbledon. And it wasn't quite the result that Crawley fans were hoping for, especially in that second half. It was a good game, nevertheless. Definitely livened up in the second half. And as they say, it is a game of two halves. So I'm going to come straight over to you, as I always love to do. What are your thoughts and feelings? What the hell just happened? I'm sure that Crawley just sent out a completely different side for the second half because it wasn't the side that played in the first half. I actually get the impression that being a Crawley fan this season is uh, very, very frustrating because I reckon that is pretty much what happens most games. They just didn't do anything in the first half and I don't know why. Why couldn't you do something that it, of, the, of the second half in the first half? But ultimately, they, they lost. They were absolutely brilliant in, in the second half and I was actually saying overall they were probably the better side because of that second half. But they got what they deserve really because they didn't do anything in the first half so it's a real shame fantastic match in the end yeah. i enjoyed it it definitely livened up in the second half i feel like wimbledon pretty much stayed the same as they were in the first half okay par of the course like i said earlier i think the crawley just made them look good but it was complete opposite performance either half or crawley in the end it proved to be a very good game it's just a bit of a shame really that we didn't get the draw although you're happy because your score prediction was bang on yeah i am happy uh, you're always happy if you've got your get the score right but uh it is a bit frustrating because being a local person to uh, Crawley um, we wanted Crawley to win but they didn't no they didn't but you know who will be very happy today and that is the football hipster man of the match we've agreed on the same player as did whoever gave the man of the match at the stadium as well because it is indeed Crawley Town left back Sasparetta. <laughs> <laughs> Nick Cerula is the football hipster man of the match. He it was the only player in the first half of Crawley that really gave them any hope going forward and that continued in the second half. Pretty much every attack of any real quality came through him so I think he's a very very worthy winner but ladies and gentlemen that is the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. We will be back with more footballing action tomorrow. The 12 vlogs of Christmas. It doesn't stop. Well it will after the next two. Thank you very much for watching as always ladies and gents. I will see you tomorrow. Take care. Peace and love. <laughs>